Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm doing something exciting, at least to me. Um, I'm trying out some new products um, from Sephora. And this is going to be like a clean, beauty, full face kind of demo. Because I have a lot of products that are that Sephora calls clean, and I'll go into what that means. But I saw a new brand at Sephora, and um, it's called LYS. And I believe it stands for Love Yourself, but I couldn't see that anywhere on the Sephora app, but I heard someone else say that in a video. Um, and this is a new black-owned clean beauty brand at Sephora, and it just like really caught my eye and everything about it sounded really intriguing to me so I was like I could make this like a whole clean beauty video because this brand they don't have like um you know enough to do a full face so I'm just gonna throw some other stuff in of products I already own but yeah I guess we'll just get started actually first let's even talk about what clean means because I know it could mean like different things for, there's cat hair in my mouth, um, it can mean different things for different people, but um, I'll tell you what Sephora defines as clean beauty. So let me go to the app. And they seem to be coming out with more and more clean beauty products, like everything in the new section is like clean beauty and they're really trying to highlight that so I find it quite interesting. Yeah, so if you go on the Sephora app or on desktop I guess um, and you go to makeup and then there's a section now called clean makeup. Um, so it says Clean, clean at Sephora, formulated without parabens, sulfates, SLS, and SLES, phthalates, mineral oils, formaldehyde, and more. And then there's like a learn more section. So I'm not going to read like everything here because it's actually like a whole story. <laughs> so read it at your own if you want to. Um, but basically they have like a full list of ingredients that they consider not clean so these are products that have like without those bad ingredients so I mean see that as you will um, some people don't even believe that there's clean and not clean ingredients but I still just find this interesting because to me it just means like at least there's less ingredients in these products that could be considered like not so great for your skin. So yeah, I just wanted to try out um, all of these. And some of these I'm actually quite surprised are considered clean, like you never would have thought. Let's just get into it. Um, so the first brand um, that I have the lip balm of, this is just a mini one, is Milk. So Milk Makeup is a clean beauty brand at Sephora. This is the Kush Lip Balm, and they have all kinds of like shades of this, but I also have a tinted one, but I don't want to use it because I find it's quite tinted, like it's almost like a lipstick. But this is the Green Dragon one, so it looks green, but it's just like a clear lip balm. And it has like a nice minty smell and it feels really nice on the lips. This is actually the first time I'm using this one, but I have used the tinted version before. And to prime my skin, this brand I was surprised is a clean brand. It's Farsali. So this is like that Instagram brand that people are like dripping things all over their face and it looks weird. <laughs> but um, So I have a mini of the Liquid Glass Radiance Skin Serum with Hyaluronic Acid. Um, I'm actually going to use this as a primer because it has like shimmer in it I, I guess you would say. So it looks kind of like milky like this. I actually don't know like how much I should use. I guess this is enough to start because um, I think this foundation that I'm going to be using is um, kind of radiant also so 
I don't need to be super, you know, glowy to begin with. This is another product that I haven't used before. Oh, it feels like very moisturizing actually. And I can see how it would be good as a primer also because it feels like a bit tacky if you can see. It doesn't really, I don't think it smells like anything. So now we can use the exciting products. So um, like I said, this is the brand LYS. I'm pretty sure you say LYS and not like LYS because it stands for love yourself, but I could be wrong. So yeah, it's called LYS Beauty and this is the foundation. It's called the Triple Fix Serum Foundation with HA, turmeric, and ashwagandha. And I find that very intriguing because fun fact, I actually, um, there's ashwagandha in my smoothie that I eat every day. So I find that interesting. Like. I eat it, but it's actually gonna be like on my face also. I didn't know it could be used like as a cosmetic ingredient, I guess. So what really intrigued me about this is that it's like a skincare and foundation in one, supposedly. Um, but I am a little scared that it's called a serum foundation. I've talked about this in my other videos, but usually for me, a serum foundation it doesn't work out so well because my skin is so dry that it like absorbs the moisturizing properties and then the pigment just like stays in my pores and does not look good so that part of this I'm a little worried but it just sounded really nice and I got the shade LN6 which I hope is my shade. This brand is not available in store, so even though like you can't swatch things in store, I couldn't even see it either, so we'll find out. Let me see what, if this says anything important that I need to know. It says, smooth a small amount onto clean, moisturize, and or primed skin with a sponge or foundation brush. Build as desired. And then it highlights the key ingredients, so ashwagandha. It's also known as Indian ginseng, and it's a powerful herb to help combat skin stress and visible signs of aging. And hyaluronic acid, also known as HA, infuses the skin with intensive hydration, which I need. Turmeric provides antioxidant protection. And avocado oil helps to retain the skin's moisture for the appearance of a revitalized and firmer looking complexion while providing antioxidant benefits. So this sounds amazing, but let's actually see. Oh, and like even the packaging of this brand is super cute. There's like little cutouts and everything is shaped tri like a triangle, which is really, I don't know, I just like how it looks. <laughs> So this is the bottle. It's a really nice glass um, bottle that is shaped like a triangle, like I said. And let me see, because I also think this brand is really well priced for being a clean beauty brand at Sephora because a lot of them are very expensive. So the foundation is $28.50 and I know that it's like, I mean, it's still not the best, but Considering it's being sold at Sephora and it's a clean beauty brand and it has all of those super good ingredients in it I find that a really fair price. So what did I get? LN6? I wasn't sure honestly. So actually this one is out of stock at least on Sephora Canada um, But this is described as a light nude to light skin with neutral undertones. So I usually get anything that says neutral because I don't want cool because then I find I will look like very white um, like the Rare Beauty Foundation does to me. That's a cool shade and I don't usually go for warm because I'm afraid it will look like orange so I always just stick to neutral. So this is the foundation with a pump here. It looks really nice. Oh, and it said to shake well, 
so let me do that too. Yeah, I can hear it's very liquidy inside, but it doesn't, I don't think it has one of those like balls like in the Rare Beauty foundation. And I'm gonna use a sponge, I think. Um, I just feel like using a sponge today. So let me start with one pump. I think this looks like a good shade. I'm scared. Oh yeah, it's very liquidy. So this said it was um, a buildable coverage, so probably means it's more like um, light to medium to begin with, and then you can build it up. Usually I don't build up my foundations because I don't, I don't like the look of a very high coverage foundation on my skin because it's dry and getting older. <laughs> Okay, I already really like how this looks because unlike the Rare Beauty foundation, it's not like sitting in my pores super un like super weirdly. Yeah, very light coverage with one pump. I'm gonna use like not even a full pump more, like half a pump. Because I want to get the redness around my nose and maybe like down here. I will be very happy if this ends up looking good because I am actually going to pass on my Rare Beauty foundation and I was looking for something like that would help me to look less dry. <laughs> and like scaly. It's building on itself very well too. Should I zoom in? I'm always afraid when I zoom in that then you can't see me because I go like down <laughs> into the mirror. I think this shade is really good for me too. I think part of the reason why I keep talking about the Rare Beauty Foundation but I'm just like so sad that I don't like it because it seems like everyone loves it but I think part of the reason why I really didn't like it is the shade but I don't like the formula enough to buy another shade of it you know so yeah um I think I love this so far let's so this is with like one pump and a half um I love it <laughs> It looks like skin, but it did cover, not all of my redness, but it did cover most of it. And it doesn't look bad on my forehead. I was having that issue with the Rare Beauty Foundation. Um, here it was looking all dry and scaly, and I didn't change my skincare, so. Okay, yay. I really like this so far. I'm gonna do um, a wear test also because I don't personally see the point of doing foundation reviews without doing a wear test because if I just sit here and do nothing, obviously it's gonna stay looking nice. But in real life, like people are, you know, going to work and stuff. So um, yeah, I think it's useful to do a wear test. We'll see how it settles. Um, yeah, but I really like it so far. And it's not like accentuating my pores or anything, which is good. So, I'll zoom you back out. I look really white on camera. Let me turn this off. Yeah, that's more what it actually looks like. I just have a you know, my mirror light on, so. Okay, yay. I'm very excited. Cause I was starting to think that I didn't 
like any of the foundations in my collection and that they all make me look worse so I'm very happy with this um, so I do have a concealer another mini size um, so actually the Tarte C line is also Clean Beauty at Sephora um, but not all Tarte products are Clean Beauty, I noticed, so I don't know if it's just the newer ones because the C line is, is the newer line for them. But this is the Hydro Sealer. This was just like a perk that I got, but it's like a really good size and it's going to take me a while to actually use this up. And I think this is a good match for me. I don't remember how I feel about this, so let's see. Just gonna apply that um, just a bit there for now. That blended out really easily, but it's very, um, as you can see, it's not very high coverage at all. I don't want to put too much elsewhere because I want to get like a clear picture of the foundation and I am going to be using a cream highlighter so I'm going to go in with that next. I think the blush is a cream blush also. Yes, the blush is a cream blush too so yeah, not going to do the bronzer yet. So um Another milk makeup product, I have a small, um, like a travel size of the Lit Highlighter. I think I've used this before, but honestly, I don't really remember. I'm going to take a brush to this. So I'm going to use this e.l.f. Um, small stipple brush and just like go directly on the product. I might have to I don't even know if this is getting no I think I have to go directly on the face with the stick okay this is very I thought this was gonna be like more extreme um, but it's quite subtle it looks really nice I was just expecting like more, I don't know, from based on what it looks like here, I was expecting it to be more intense, but that's fine because this whole look is going to be more like a natural look. Okay, I'm, I'm really liking this so far. Um, so I do have another product from LYS, I hope it's pronounced like that. Um, this is the Higher Standard Satin Matte Cream Blush, and I'm so excited about it. So this is the packaging, again with like the little triangle cutouts. Um, I got the shade Self Love, and I did open these products already. Look how cute, it says Love Yourself in the box. I just, I love it. I did open them, but I didn't swatch anything or, or anything like that. and. This is what it looks like. I love it. And the best part about this, like, it's shaped like a triangle. Um, but here, there's like a little curve, so it's easy to open. I mean, I love when brands think of things that maybe might get overlooked, but it just makes it like such a better experience. And look how big this pan is. That's huge. So this is the shade. Um, honestly, on the on Sephora, this looked more like a mauve, but in person, it's kind of like a raspberry tone, I would say. And there's a mirror inside, and there is a magnet closure, so it doesn't like flop around. Love it. Um, so yeah, satin matte cream blush. That's a lot of words that mean different things. <laughs> so um, just let me go and see 
how they suggest you apply this. Yeah, see, this is the color on Sephora. Sephora swatches are not the best, if I must say, but I'm still happy with the shade because I wanted something different. I keep buying like peach and like very warm blushes and then I don't have any variety. So that's why I got this one. This is also sold out apparently. So I guess people are really liking this brand. And this blush is $22 for this big pan. I mean, amazing. So it is described as a rosy mop. I guess that's accurate, how to use. Apply into the apples of the cheek using a blush brush or your fingers. Apply excess onto the bridge of the nose, lips, and hairline for a youthful look. That's interesting. Layer for a more vibrant color payoff. Okay, I think I'm gonna use a brush because I just, you guys know I don't like applying makeup with my fingers. I just don't like the feeling of it. It's some, I don't know, I guess I'm weird like that. But yeah, I do have a brush in mind for this. Another e.l.f. brush. I am loving e.l.f. brushes. Like, they're just so good. This is the Airbrush Stipple. I've been using it for cream blushes because it just, like, doesn't pick up too much product and you can really you know, blend it out softly. Okay, so I pick, okay, <laughs> that looks like a lot. Uh, I might use this for both, so let's just go ahead and dab this on. So this is an interesting product, Satin Matte Cream Blush. Uh, but I see what that means because, I mean, obviously it's a cream product, but it does look, does look matte on the skin, but not in a dry way, which I am into. Oh, I think I really like this too. And it's not disrupting the foundation or anything underneath. Um... I love it. <laughs> wow. So yeah, that was enough to do my whole face. I always apply my blush like that in case you're wondering. I bring it across my nose and I've stopped like doing this and applying my blush because when I do that, um, when I when my face settles back down my blush is like down here because my cheeks come up higher So tip and if you find that's happening to you Just leave your face normal when you apply your blush. I Love it. Yay. I'm so happy that I like this I was gonna be really sad <laughs> if I didn't because I was just really excited because this brand has like everything I want, like cute packaging, good ingredients, like a nice theme, like love yourself. Yes, I love it. That's what I'm about. Okay, I'm very happy with that too. I wonder if they'll come out with like more glowy blushes because I could be into that also. But I don't mind this either because the foundation is not matte. I'm okay with like a more satin matte blush on top. I really like this so far. Okay, so we did the highlighter, the blush, bronzer. So the last product I have from LYS is the No Limits Matte Bronzer. I have this shade Motivate. I think this is the lightest shade. And look at this detail. So this is the bronzer and this is the blush. But it has like, see it's different? I don't know, I just like that. So same triangle with the lip here. 
And this is what the shade is. I think that's a really good shade for me. It looks quite similar to shades I already have, like Butter Biscuit from Fenty and Mac Marc Jacobs Fantastic. It's kind of like that neutral to cool kind of tone. Um, so let me see what this says. Oh, by the way, the blush has Kaolin Clay avocado oil and vitamin E in it. Oh, Calum Clay reduces the appearance of pores. That's a good thing to have in a blush. So the bronzer is $24, so it's $2 more than the blush. And there's five shades. Yeah, I got the lightest one. So, um, you can't really see that, but how to use. Oh wait, first. In this bronzer, there's niacinamide, also reduces pores, appearance of pores, remember that. Because when people say reduces pores, that's not actually an accurate statement because your pores um, cannot be reduced by a product. They can appear smaller, but the actual size of them doesn't change, apparently. Uh, green tea extract provides antioxidant benefits that soothe and replenish skin and sodium hyaluronate helps retain skin moisture and visibly plump fine lines. Wow. For instant warmth, gently buff product into the hollows of the cheeks, temples of the forehead and jawline using a brush. Build coverage as needed. Okay. I don't know why I had to read how to use a bronzer. <laughs> I just, I like to make sure, I like to use the products as it tells you to get, you know, the full effect. So because this is like a nice big pan, I'm going to use, I'm going to use my Eco Tools, the, oh, full powder brush. Oh, that was powdery. What? into my eyeball. Yeah, this is a very similar shade to um, my Fenty bronzers. Both of them actually, because I have the powder one in Shady Biz. This one, maybe it's a bit warmer, but I like, I like that, especially for like spring, summer, which is hopefully coming soon. Oh, I like this too. So I find it interesting though that the foundation is more like radiant, but then the blush and bronzer are matte, but it works. Um, yeah, I really like how this looks. There's an eyelash in my eye. Just ignore like this. This is not like the product patching up. That's hives. <laughs> Which I get like whenever I touch my face because I'm allergic to everything. I don't think it's the product just in case you were wondering because I think on camera that looks like I just didn't blend um, the blush or something. But yeah. Okay, so that's the base done and so far I like everything. Um, yeah. So we can move on to the eyes and I actually have a new palette to try because I didn't have any clean eyeshadow from Sephora. I think it's harder to make clean eyeshadow because there is not a lot listed on the on Sephora's website. But this was one of them and this is a product that I wanted forever anyway, like since it came out. It's from the brand Lawless. It's called the Baby One Eyeshadow Palette. This is the packaging. I guess, I think that's the brand owner. I don't really know anything about this brand, but I've heard other people talking about it on YouTube. And on the back of this, it says Clean AF. And it says AF equals always free of stuff that's bad for you. So that's cute. So I heard really good things about 
the original the one palette but this is the baby one it's more like a rosy mauve tone this is the packaging and I already opened this and I kind of made a mess of it because there was some fallout and I tried to uh, okay how was there dust in here already I tried to blow it away but it didn't really work anyway look uh, I love this I love this color story I love that there's six mattes in here and two shimmers and you can use them like interchangeably like there's no weird shades in here that don't go together I don't want to go crazy because I feel like the face is more of a natural look so let's just do something first um, I'm gonna go in with this shade here Oh, so the shade names are on the back. This is the shade Honey Child, Rosy Matte Brown. I love that it describes the shade also. Because I just like to, to know how the brand itself describes the shade. Because I'm not really good at <laughs> describing shade names. Okay, well that blended in one second. Look how pigmented that is. I'm trying to be gentle because I was not expecting this shade to be that deep. I mean, it's not deep, but you know what I mean. In the pan, it doesn't look like it's going to be that dark, but I like it. Honestly, this shade I would just wear alone, like for a quick in the crease shade. I really like it. But this, I am trying out this palette, so I might as well use more. I mean, this whole palette is pretty deep now that I think about it. I feel like any other shade that I go in with is going to deepen up the look quite a bit, so. I think I'm just going to take some of this shade in the middle. This is the shade Cozy Bundle. It's a matte amber cocoa. And I'm going to just put that in the crease and the outer corner. Everything is so blendable. I mean, I've only used two shades <laughs> so far, but... I am quite impressed and they're not blending away like to where you can't see the shade anymore they're just um, really nice and easy to use and on the lid I'm gonna go in with the shimmer here look how pretty that looks this is called baby love metallic movie tote and I think I'm just going to go in with my finger since I don't have any nails anymore and I can actually do that. <laughs> okay, that's beautiful. Um, I will say like when I put my finger in the pan, I was like, oh, this feels like gritty, but it's not feeling like that when I blend it out on the eye. I guess I'm just used to like shades that look like this being very heavy in the silicones, but not this one. <gasps> okay, I love it. I love that shade. This is a very good first impressions um, of everything. Wow, that's so pretty. Yeah, I love all these colors together. I'm just gonna go back in with the first brush I used and kind of like just blend everything here. And I will just take 
A very small brush. I'm gonna go on the lower lash line back with the shade that I used in the crease. Uh, Honey Child with like this weird pencil brush. That's very strange because <laughs> the bristles are so long. So it just like flops around everywhere. So I'm just gonna try and like gently do this. And I'm not bringing it all the way into the inner corner because I wanna use the lighter shimmer for a highlight. Yeah, so I'm gonna use this shade here which is called Little Doll. It's a light metallic shell and I'm going to put that on the inner corner. <gasps> Pretty. And just kind of bring it down a bit. And any residue on my brush, I usually just put on my brow bone. Okay, really happy with this also. <laughs> so in case you didn't know, Lawless is another clean brand at Sephora. They have some really interesting products too. I really want the lip plumper, but it's been out of stock since it came out, literally. So yeah, I'll have to get that at some point. For mascara, oh, I actually had this, but I don't think I need it. Um, but I have another product from the Tarte um, well, this is the Rainforest of the Sea line, so now they have just like sea. <laughs> but this was Rainforest of the Sea. These are the sea glass like lid toppers, which are also in the clean beauty section. But I don't think I need to put any more glitter. And this is actually a very similar shade to what I have on already. But in case you were wondering, these are clean beauty and I really like this product actually too so I thought I would mention that um so for um eyebrows and mascara I have more milk products but I don't love these products I'm just using them because I just wanted to do a full face of clean beauty um so I have the milk kush clear brow gel and what I don't like about this is mainly the brush. It's just too small, if you can see. And it's like one size the whole way. Um, I just feel like it doesn't, like the bristles aren't long enough to really pick up the brow hair and lift them. So yeah, that's my thoughts on this product. Um, but I will say it's, pretty good for what it is. I mean, it's just a clear brow gel, so it's not gonna like give you any fullness or fibers, but um, it also doesn't make your brows crunchy or anything, and there's no white like cast or dryness to it, so that part I like about it. And I also got this for $6. For, um, in the boxy pop-up so yeah can't complain too much and the mascara you guys know I keep complaining about this in all my videos this is actually the last time I'm going to be using this I actually got it out of my empties bag for this video because it's just like it's too old now and it flakes even worse than it did to begin with and that's pretty bad because it flaked from the first time I opened it. But I do like that it, like I like the brush and it makes your lashes look nice and light and like wispy, but it just ends up everywhere by, not even by the end of the day. In like a few hours, it's gonna be all under my eyes. You'll probably see in the wear test. See, it looks really nice now, but just it's not going to stay that way. So now we just have lips, and I'm very excited about this category also. I have two new products. One of them I already hauled um, 
at some point, but I actually haven't used yet. It's the Tower 28, so Tower 28, another clean brand. Um, this is the Shine On Lip Jelly in the shade Almond. I'm very um, intrigued by this, but another new brand at Sephora that I'm obsessed with, but it's more on the pricey side, so I only got one product. It's called Merit. Um, I have the shade slick in the shade Au Naturel. Au Naturel. How do you say that? Au Naturel. <laughs> um, Au Naturel. I'm trying to say like Au Naturel in, in English, even though it's French, if you know what I mean. Living in Quebec problems, but anyway, <laughs> this is a tinted lip oil. So this really caught my eye. Anytime there's like a lip oil, I'm like, yes, I need it. This is the packaging. Um, yeah, I don't really know anything about this brand. No one's really talking about it yet on YouTube. Um, but I just really was intrigued by this. And they have so many products. They have like a foundation stick. They have mascara, highlighter, yeah, a lot of things, but I just got the lip oil. Um, I have used this before actually, and I did like the shade, and it actually felt, this is very similar to the Rare Beauty glossy lip balms that they just came out with that I um, used in my Rare Beauty video, the last one that I did. It's very similar, but I think this is even more like hydrating and I noticed like even after the product wore off, my lips felt really nice and moisturized. So yeah, I can see why this is more expensive because there's really good ingredients in it. Um, but yeah, what do I want to use today? I think I'm going to use the Tower 28 just because I'm curious about this. It just smells like lip gloss. I can see why everyone loves these. Not sticky, very shiny, and I like the color. Uh, yeah. Oh, and for setting spray, my battery's dying. Oh dear. For setting spray, the only thing I have in my collection right now, well, that's not true, but the only thing I have with me is the Caudalie oh the okay beauty <laughs> beauty elixir smoothing glowing complexion i did not know that Caudalie was a clean beauty brand and i actually don't get to use this often because it's in my travel bag and i don't travel because of covid so let's put this on smells very um, medicinal, like herbaceous, um, and very wet, but I really like that product. I've used it before. Um, yeah, this is looking really good still. Uh, I'll be back with a wear test to tell you what it ended up looking like and if the blush stays on my face. So yeah, I'll be back. Hey guys, so I'm back to check in. Um, unfortunately, I forgot to check what time it was when I finished my makeup. So, but I think it was around like 2.30, I wanna say. And right now it's 9.15. So it's been, it's been around seven hours. So I don't know how well you can see in this lighting. Um, 
first of all, my <laughs> under eyes are so like oily for some reason. Must be the Tarte concealer. Um, but yeah, the rest of my face, I am very impressed. There's no like creasing or weirdness going on. Um, of course, like some of the product came off because I did eat and drink and you know. So yeah, but I am really happy with how this looks. It didn't even crease in my fine lines that I have here or like around my nose, which often more like serum foundations do that. So yeah, I really like this. I'm really happy. Um, so I'm gonna ch keep trying it of course because um, I also use a new primer today. So I don't know like how much of that, how much of like the glow and the like hydration is the primer, you know, because that primer is supposed to be like very skin carry also. So yeah, but we'll have to see, but so far so good. And I really like this a lot better than my Rare Beauty foundation, that's for sure. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm really excited about this. And um, for as for the rest of my face, obviously the gloss came off like super quick. Um, it was just like a gloss, so that's not anything weird. Um, and the eyeshadow still looks really nice. It actually didn't crease and I didn't even put a primer on today, so that's interesting also. And... The blush, I will say about the blush, I feel like it faded quite quickly. Um, so maybe like if you have a more oily skin, you'd want to set it down or apply more product, I guess, because I did blend it out pretty like a lot to make it more sheer. But yeah, I guess that's it. So I don't remember if I did an outro. <laughs> in the last clip so if i didn't i hope you liked this video if you did give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next one bye